our 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 angle distance changes every freaking time. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to put a place marker down once the garage is clean. Once the garage, let me clean the garage. In all due time, in due time. I just want to clean. No, believe I me. I realize that's such a female stereotype, but I really want to clean. I got news for you. I want to clean too. <laughs> And Arlene here, and we are here for part two of my shoulder and arms for my hunter. And it's getting close to, it's almost a month away now to God. New Jersey GamerCon. Do I really only have that much time left? Yes. Gee, but it's just, okay. remember, it's just the little things now. It's just the and little things, know, like you said. I know. Schedu schedules have been crazy, and Very. I haven't been able to get down here. So, um. <laughs> yes. Uh, so... What we're going to be working on today is just finishing up the shoulders and, well, not just today, but maybe like, but within this video. A lot of painting takes drying time. Yeah. So I've already started painting the arm pieces. So you'll see that in a separate little spot I will fit somewhere in. But this is basically going to be the fitting of the pauldrons to the shirt that I'm going to be wearing with velcro and positioning it and all that kind of stuff and shouldn't be too too difficult yeah and also you will shouldn't 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 you will also see the fitting of the bicep pieces that i have and it's not they're not going to be completed at the time of fitting they're going to be finished up at a later date once all the paint is dry the paint is dry enough to handle but it's still in that not totally cured process at this point and again explained it later so and that's where the lovely griever sticker will go yes it's so. really pretty yes arlene did a great job on this thank Yay. you again so much you're very welcome now so. keep in mind these white sections are actually transparent so you're just going to see the outline and then the silver griever symbol in the middle yes so and yeah. you can find that sticker paper at your local craft store. <laughs> you just you need to make sure that you use a laser jet ink, or no, not not a laser jet. You use an ink jet printer. Okay then, well, good to know. Yeah, because laser jet won't you can't transfer the ink right properly. So once it's on, it'd probably be a good idea to clear coat it just on the same side. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. So let's get to work on fitting the pauldrons and other pieces to the arms. I will apologize now. Right now, the garage door is closed because we have learned from the last few videos that we recorded that sunlight sometimes is not our friend and it kind of bleeds things. So we're going to try and keep the garage doors closed as much as possible, but it's also 85 degrees in here. And the best we have going right now is a circulating fan over so here. So sorry if you hear that noise. And but you may also notice a little bit of moisture has invaded my shirt. So it kind of hot. <laughs> And there's Yay, not much, summer. and there's not much airflow. So, yeah. Again, a little bit rambling right now, but you'll see all the stuff we're trying to get accomplished. Yeah. All right. So these lovely don't throw knives. <laughs> these lovely bicep pieces uh, are all done and painted. Unfortunately, oh, this one got a little warped too. So we had to throw one out because the sun warped it a lot. I didn't think. The sun would actually heat the plastic up to the point of warping, but this is... You can see it doesn't exactly lie Where This has a small warp in it, but it's basically in the same, almost the same spot each side, so it's still kind of lays flattish like armor, so... So that's, uh, that happens, so don't leave it out in the sun too long. So it's a good, good learning experience. And then, so as we decided not to put this on the actual shoulder, we decided to fit it onto here instead. It's a little bit big, but that's fine. We'll just kind of wrap over to the ends. Uh, mm -hmm. So we're just going to take this sticker off, put it on, and then uh, make some slits here, and then push it underneath so that it won't get in the way of actually putting on the straps. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah. And then what I'll do is, once it's all on, I'm going to hit it with a clear coat, which should have under here. In his gajillion buckets of spray paint 
You'll be you'll be upset when that bucket is gone. So well, what I'm gonna use is this a Krylon Color Master Color Master Acrylic Crystal Clear. It is glossy, so it will keep the nice shine. And it's also non-yellowing, so it shouldn't do anything bad to it. Good. And the reason why I'm not going to be mad is because I'm pretty sure most of that is expired. Yeah. Slash empty. So. Oh, no, I get rid of the empty ones. Okay. I just want to make sure that it's perfectly lined up. You know me. Mm-hmm. Very OCD. <laughs> Now that looks that looks There perfect. we go. Now beautiful folks. Simply beautiful. Yep. Woo woo! Wear it with pride. Of all of that lion heart pride. <laughs> Very excited. Hmm? Very excited. <laughs> Looks so good. And it actually still looks pretty white against it. Yeah. Yay! Lionheart. <laughs> okay, so now that that's done, we're going to figure out... I'm going to put on the... Shirt. Shirt that I'm going to be wearing as, like, the base of it. And we're going to figure out how to get everything all attached. Yay! We're getting there. We are. We're so close! <laughs> okay, so... Everything is coming together very nicely. Uh, we're going to start fitting the pieces on and seeing where everything lays. Yeah. So before the... Yeah. So, I have not clear coated this just yet, but for at least test fitting and also figuring out where the Velcro is going to go, we're going to just do a test fit with it as is. So these are the, this was originally an e-pad. I don't know, I don't honestly don't remember if I had mentioned it before or not. But these are the straps that came with it and they'll be able to fit around my arm very easily. So. Even with the slight warping. Yes. Well, it's not as bad as the other one. Yeah, so. no. All sorts of ones.
so much better. Good. Eyes up, Guardian, because we're at the halfway point, and... We're past the halfway we're ha point. We're past the halfway point. Uh, so far, this is the stuff that is basically 100% done. I have my Tostada Go Shell right here. So this will be a little floaty companion that I have. I have my Vanguard Scout Rifle here, which... When you look down sights in a uh, first-person shooter, this is how it works anyway, so that's fine. Plus, I can also do the hunter pose anyway. And I got my gloves done, which I did add a little bit of silver sharpie to just kind of add a little battle damage to it, because the chest rig really doesn't have too much. We've heat You know this... how he loves his battle damage. Hey, it hides a lot of crimes. <laughs> uh, also, we've heat formed the sides a little bit, so now I can do this with my arms and not lift the whole thing. Uh, the shoulders are on. Uh, still not sure if I like need what, an elbow pad or something else on the sleeves yet. I'm still figuring that out. Uh, my leave your leave your suggestion down in the comments. I think it'll because he's gonna be carrying his gun the majority of the time. It's gonna get in the way and kind of yeah. it's not gonna be shown anyways while you're carrying. That. True. And so we also have the knee pad, which will just basically be crudely tied around my one knee. And while we were hoping this would be a bi be something to fit on the bicep because of how the pauldrons lay, it's not going to lay as nicely. well well, or as nicely as I had originally hoped. So I still have to clear coat this still. But this is now actually going to go on... Just my thigh that does not have the knee, pa knee pad on it. A lot of asymmetry going on. So. If anyone plays Destiny, there are very few Hunter full armor sets that are symmetrical. The only one I can think of off the top of my head are the Vanguard Dare and the Revere Dawn. The fact that you've memorized them still is odd to me, but yeah. Hunters for life, baby. <laughs> so... Thank you all for in for watching this episode and hope you really enjoyed it. Hope you've been enjoying the build uh, series so far. I know I have had a wonderful time building all of this stuff. Now he knows how I felt when yes. we were doing Starfire. Yes, now I know the joy from Starfire <laughs> and all. So we re again really hope you enjoyed this we're putting a lot of effort into this but i mean it's really effort for me anyway i i know now all we have left it's effort for me but it's content for you <laughs> all that's left now is uh fixing up the cape a little bit to make sure it stays on properly with all this stuff on yes uh finishing up the mask which is just a paint job at this point yeah basically um and then tying those on you already have your pants you're gonna order your boots yeah and oh Oh, and his knife. We almost forgot the knife. Yeah. Forgot about my hunter's knife. So just got to find a spot for this. Probably just stick it in a pocket or something or behind me. I don't know yet. But obviously this will be with me, part of the costume as well. So but we're so close. So close. And this it is looks awesome. So good. I'm very proud of it. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm I am very proud it. of this too. I mean, it may look simple. But this was a lot of work. It was a lot of details and layering and Yes. So But it all came together really well. It did. So again, thank you all very much for watching. And as always, if you enjoyed the videos, throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Click the little bell icon. Don't forget to also share the videos because that will also help us get exposure too, because mm -hmm. apparently YouTube isn't recommending us all the time. I found that out the hard way. Oh Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, but, I can't keep doing this without getting paid. I'm not going to lie. No, I'm going to keep doing it because I'm me. But yeah. still. It just may be a little bit more infrequently. So if you want to keep Arlene around, please <laughs> like, and, like and subscribe, share, and all that stuff. But again, thank you all very much for watching. We will see you guys next time. Bye. Later.